How's it hanging dudes? My name is Sean and welcome back to another Jurassic World Evolution video. In today's video we're going to be discussing whether or not Jurassic World Evolution is 100% canon. And of course you know it's it's canon as far as Jurassic World goes and Jurassic Park and the previous you know films and novels and stuff like that. It is canon but there is some reason to believe that it may not be canon. For example we all know that there's going to be hybrids in this game, and they're going to be kind of an unlockable, um, but at the same time, as you advance, you'll be able to uh, do a bunch of different more uh, hybrids as you go, right? So the thing is, if this game is going to be any sort of a sandbox game, any sort of a, a park management open building game, you're going to have to be able to play with that a little bit. And as far as we can tell through a couple of these interviews, especially this one in GameSpot that I'm getting ready to cite, it kind of leads you to believe that you can kind of do a whole lot that you wouldn't expect um, to be able to do or to see in the canon Jurassic World films and novels. For example, the five deaths, the five islands, you know, outside of uh, Isla Nublar and Isla Sorna, there is no other islands, really. They allude to them, and there's a few in the books, and they kind of briefly discuss them, and it kind of, you know, it's kind of like a, a passed over, thrown underneath the rug type of thing. But they're not really there, you know, they don't, they they're say that they're uninhabited, and they're, not, they're they're not that serious. But now that they're going to be canonized, they're going to be playable, you're going to see these islands and actually get a first-hand glimpse of what's on them, what kind of terrain is there. We're really branching out here. And will the movies continue on with this canon in mind, with what the game, you know, actually creates? GameStop had a really good... GameStop. GameSpot had a really good interview with the game director, Michael Brooks, and he's also the lead, uh, and, uh, the lead designer, Andy Fletcher. But I really want to focus on what Michael Brooks has to say. Okay, so the interviewer asks, Can we talk about the influence of the movies of the originals and also the newer ones? Where are you drawing from the most? They're talking about the game. You know, what implications, what former happenings are you bringing into the actual game? And Brooks replied, It's primarily a Jurassic World game. That's the distinction. Jurassic Park and Jurassic World are one of the same franchise, but different at the same time, separate. Maybe not different, but definitely separate. But from the start, Universal has been a huge supporter of what we are doing. And they agree that everyone's fans of the original films as well. And we should try and draw as much of that as possible into the game as well. So a good example of that is Jeff Goldblum. He's a key character throughout the history and of course, whenever they bring him into this game, right, he'll pop up and whenever you make a mistake, he'll pop up and say, I told you so. So that's one of the ways of tying in, you know, Ian Malcolm, who is in some of the previous films, which kind of canonizes it a little further. So we're getting somewhere, right? Brooks said, in relation to Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, we've worked closely with Universal to make sure that we're accommodating what will happen in that movie, although I can't reveal what that is. So we'll speculate that, you know, later on, whenever we, whenever we come to that or see to that, you know, later video. Yes, we've been working with them so we can make sure that we know what's happening and things all sync up in the right time. The interviewer asks, well, Jurassic World had stuff like old jeeps and the abandoned parts of the park that all showed up, and it's all in the same continuity. Does the game fall within a certain canon timeline somewhere? Brooks replies, so I think Jurassic World director Colin Trevorrow used a very interesting phrase in a recent tweet about the Games tend to be soft canon, quote unquote. So they're drawing from the films and their inspiration. But I think we get a little bit of leeway to kind of steer in a path a little bit. So in our case, we've got the archipelago, the five islands, the five deaths, which are never really exploited except for Isla Sorna in the films. So we're expanding out into those extra islands as well. Uh, Fletcher says, yeah, we've got a few new characters in there that represent the different divisions of the Hammond Foundation. But obviously, those themes of securities and science and entertainment, they are strung throughout the books and the movies as well. So even though those characters are created for our game, they represent themes from the franchise. So it all connects back. 
So yeah, there you have it. This might be kind of a short video, but I had to address this just because a lot of questions are going out about how Canon is this. So there we have it. It's a soft Canon, which means it will be within the Canon timeline, not a specific timeline. It doesn't actually tell us at, at what point does our gameplay fall, you know, in the Jurassic timeline, Jurassic Park slash world franchise timeline. But it is canon. It is canon. There will be canon um, things, canon happenings, canon characters. But we will be able to um, kind of divulge a little bit and kind of go our own path. And that's kind of where the sandbox mode kicks in. But in my next video, I kind of want to address the sandbox thing. Is it really going to be 100% sandbox or is it almost too story driven? Or will there be an option? I don't really know. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys like. I hope you guys subscribe if this is your first time to the channel. Uh, I hope this has been informative. Um, I hope this you know alleviates any concerns over whether it will be canon or not. Uh, yeah, and that's all I got for you guys in this video today. Uh, as soon as I get the game, I will be playing it. Of course, you know some other YouTubers can get it. I can't. I'm just I'm just not that cool, guys. I'm sorry. I, I wish I could be. But anyway, I do appreciate you guys. I uh, appreciate you showing up, and I'll see you in the next video.